Hi, I'm Dave Mitchell, President of Leadership Difference, a corporate training firm located in Colorado. We work with clients all over the world to improve their organizations. I'm also a certified SOEA. So a few years ago, I combined my love and passion for training people with my love and passion for wine. And I created a program called What is Your Wine Personality? to explore the parallels between people's communication style and the world of wine. Now, we're here at Aspen Peak Cellars, a lovely place in Conifer, Colorado. And we're about ready to have a dinner party involving lots of different types of people. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to illustrate what we explore in What Is Your Wine Personality. Here we sit enjoying the shade. Hey, brother, pour the wine. Drink the drink that I have made. Hey, brother, pour the wine. This is Jerry. He's an ordained Methodist minister and a sommelier. You don't see that combination around very often. He has a master's degree in divinity and has had to dedicate a great deal of his time to research, study, and understanding the historical details of his discipline. It's very important to Jerry that he has the right information. And we call this thorough and accurate approach to communication the expert style. Jerry's approach to communication is reflected in his approach to wine. I'll let him explain. You know, I enjoy the old world classics. Wines from France, and Italy, and Spain. Bottles from Burgundy and Bordeaux, Tuscany, Rioja. Those are the wines that get my attention. I particularly like wines from Chateauneuf du Pau. Besides the obvious religious heritage, they're just so complex. I mean, you've got Grenache, and Vedre, and Syrah. What can I say? I like the details. Susan is a closer. She is vice president of business development for a business consulting firm and is direct, logical, competitive, and productive. She does not suffer fools gladly. If you want something done, you give it to Susan. Others call her a straight shooter. We call her style the warrior style. Look, I don't mess around with the cheap stuff. I'm all about a trophy wine. I love Opus One, I love Silver Oak, especially the Napa Valley version, and Camus. When I make my money, I'm definitely buying Screaming Eagle. I have some 2000 Bordeaux and a dynamite case of Super Tuscan laying down in my cellar. I got a great deal on it from a restaurant closed just down the street. Oh man, I gotta go. I got a conference call. Hey, yeah. Brenda is a social butterfly. She works in customer service. She's very bubbly, emotionally sensitive, works hard to make those around her feel welcome and comfortable. She's very charming, very diplomatic and tactful. Her warm demeanor really puts others at ease. We call this the romantic style. Now listen to how that parallels to her wine preferences. I love sparkling wine. You know, it's just so fun and festive and, well, it puts everybody in a good mood. I also like wines that have really fun labels. Okay, granted, I realize it's not the best way to buy wine, but hey, who's not a sucker for a clever name, right? But I think that the best wines are the wines that everyone enjoys. You know, they're soft and round and easy to drink and not pricey. I like to call them porch wines because they're great to sip while you're watching the sunset. Oh, I see my girlfriend, Allison. I gotta run, I'll see you. Mark's an entrepreneur. At last count, I think he was running three companies simultaneously. He has lots of ideas and enjoys starting things up. Now, he does get a little bored once they're up and running, so he moves on to the next idea. But he is absolutely fearless when it comes to taking risks. His enthusiasm and energy are infectious. We call this the mastermind style. You know, it's funny. Uh, I read an article the other day that was talking about Central Otago in New Zealand. Like it was new or something. Really? I was drinking Amosfield Pinot Noir, what, five years ago? I'm looking at Greek wines now. I find them very intriguing. You know, it's kind of like what's old is new, right? And then I recently found out about some Tanat wines in, in the southwest part of France. What's amazing about Tanat wines is that they are so healthy if they're made traditionally. And China. What about China? With all those people, with the huge population, there's going to be an explosion in the wine market. Oh, that reminds me. I really need to talk to my lawyer. I need to ask him about 
how these uh, import restrictions are going to be impacted by Asian markets. Oh, and did I tell you about California? Some of those new blends are incredible, like the Prisoner. I love them. So there you have it. I mean, obviously there's a lot more to it than that, but that gives you a flavor of how we do our What Is Your Wine Personality seminar. Uh, now, I'm not sure Carl Jung, the architect of interactive style archetypes, would truly appreciate using wine as a parallel, but it really works for us. I mean, what better way to learn about communication style than you know, exploring different wines at the same time? So whatever your style is, just remember the leadership difference motto. If you like the wine, drink it. And if you don't like it, drink it fast. Cheers. Bottle into the glass. And raised it to her lips. And just before she drank it, she said, Take it away!